Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter, the master of hoppets today, joined by Brett of Anomyces, looking at a pretty cool beer for a pretty cool event uh, for Dark City. So, Dark City is an event that Northern Monk hosts every year, I think, now. It's every year, uh, which is their contradicting event to Hop City, which is all about hoppy beers. This is all about the dark beers. Yeah. So, um, they have, I, I don't know if they released a beer last year. They probably did. Yeah, I think so. Uh, where well, they collaborate with one of the, or more, of the attending breweries uh, to make a beer. And the event, the festival, or I think it's a festival, kind of mini festival, it is was festival, yeah. last weekend. Yeah. And it just made it over here, the beer, to, to Denmark. So this year they decided to collaborate with Lervik in Norway, who makes some damn good imperial stouts. And this is the Northern Monk and Lervik Dark City 2018 Devil's Delight Imperial Stout. So this is a 9% Imperial Stout, and the strongest uh, wort, or thickest wort they've ever done at, uh, at Northern Monk, which is really cool. And they say it's a tribute to uh, the darkness and dark winters of the north in Scandinavia, and fire and metal. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm on board with that. Yep. Um, and this one is inspired by Krem, or it's, it, it's an Imperial Stout made with creme de cacao and butterscotch and vanilla. Yeah. Which is pretty interesting. They use eight different malts, I think they said, and two hop varieties. So lots of malt complexity to, you know, get a lot of flavor. And then creme de the cacao, as far as I can gather, is chocolate liqueur, right? Yeah, that's what you told me. I mean, but I'm not sure. <laughs> I mean, I looked it up online, and that's what I could mm. see. So chocolate liqueur, butterscotch, and vanilla. That would be interesting. Yeah, I, I don't think. <coughs> I have had like a pastry style stout or dessert stout like this before with these no. ingredients. And then it's also, of course, made with um, lactose and then also oats. And they have a bit of dextrose in there too. So this will be interesting to try. Yeah. So a lot of, uh, a lot of stuff. interesting things in here. Mm -hmm. And also thanks to Brett for bringing this. Yeah, one. sure. Uh, pour is a very nice pitch black color. Yeah. Very it's, creamy head. Yeah. Very nice looking head on it. It's almost Dang. as, yeah, we just talked about the new Zygote uh, by Amundsen. And that one has like almost uh, the kind of uh, nitro-esque oh, head. head. Oh, yeah, yeah. it's like, you know, when you do this, it's like dead slow ah, right. moving. Uh, so, yeah, huh? but uh, this it looks very nice in the glass. Yeah. It's so got the aroma. Oh, really, Ooh. really chocolatey. Oh, like dark chocolatey. Yeah. I see that chocolate liqueur kind mm -hmm. of. Because it has a lot of sweetness as well. Like sweet, also like sweet vanilla marshmallow. -y yeah. Aroma. yeah, almost like a burnt marshmallow campfire kind of. Mm -hmm. Also, a little bit of licorice and definitely it's like roast malt, caramel yeah. tones. I don't know mm -hmm. about butterscotch per se though. To me, it's huge chocolate. Yeah, it's very, very big and chocolate, vanilla. a bit of caramel, but yeah, mm. that could be a bit of that butterscotch. But, but huge vanilla chocolate and lactose mm. for me. Yeah. Dark chocolate for mm. sure. But yeah, it, it the sweetness also because of lactose and everything, because I think sometimes liqueurs, they have lactose in it as well. I mean, the liqueurs are really sweet, but it's, it's almost like liqueur like a little bit with that lactose sweetness yeah which is pretty interesting yeah it's it's quite the different aroma but it's very mm -hmm. it smells, it smells very nice. good mm, let's try it yeah cheers. cheers oh it's really velvety very nice oh. base very nice base imperial stuff yeah it really screams larvae imperial stuff yeah to it me. does they're so good at the imperial stuff mm -hmm. delivery Ooh, I don't think the adjuncts are like crazy over the top, no. but they're definitely there. They're there, but again, like the cook was tough. It's mm -hmm. it's kind of mellowed and mellowed yeah, in balance and with the rest of the beer. Yeah, for sure. And it, this is very thick for nine yeah. percent. Yeah, super thick. But you also have lactose. Mm. Lactose gives a lot of body mm. to a beer like this. Ooh, super velvety and coating yeah. as well. Um, yeah. it's lots it, of mostly vanilla and that kind of yeah chocolate yeah cho sweet, sweet chocolate a bit of liqueur, like, dark. I'm, I'm actually not getting the butterscotch at all really no I 
I, if I stretch the imagination, I can see like the Werther's original candy or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think it's a luck though. No, but, it's but a luck, just, vanilla is the most dominant adjunct for me. I agree. I agree. I'm just getting hints of like a caramelly, generic, yeah, caramel-y. more like caramel malt flavor. Yeah, yeah. like sweet caramel malt flavor. Uh, on top of that, there's some a little bit of coffee. There's roast malt, but it's not super roasty. It's a, like on the sweeter side, like chocolatey, mm. uh, toasty flavors. It's yeah, toasty is probably so more. I, I guess they use a lot of caramel. Oh, okay. They use some chocolate malts and a lot of caramel malt in it, and not so much like roasted barley oh. or black malt or some, something like that. But it's really tasty though. It's I I I really like impressive. That. So much mouthfeel for nine percent. Mm. Again, it's also got my toast, but yeah, yeah. yeah. I really like that you taste a lot of the ba- you know the base malts. You, you sense yeah, that yeah. it's a really good base. It's got like this really made. chewy yeah. caramel malt flavor, mm. and, and a little bit of dark fruit as well, actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But the, the base really screams uh, Lerbeck Imperial Stout to me. I I think I've had a couple stouts from uh, another monk, but it just reminds me of when they do like the nice thick stouts of Lerbeck. Yeah. Really, this barrel aged. Yeah, it could be. It's, it's that, a very that good could be very good, I think. Mm. Probably have because it, it has a lot of mouthfeel, and I think that it the the fact that it's not too adjunct heavy, it's more of like a mil, uh, milded kind of thing, makes it very good for barrels. Mm. Um, yeah, hmm? I'm thinking like a 93, 94. Yeah, I'll go ninety four with this one. Yeah. I'm I'm kind of this in the same range as the cocos top. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. It's actually it's funny. Well, not completely similar beers. No, no. But it's but also like it tastes like the base with the adjunct without mm-hmm. the adjuncts being like crazy pastry, whatever. But I could still imagine well, th- really this with really good uh, barrel aging. Uh, bourbon barrel aging. Yeah, yeah. Great. That that could be mm. very good. But uh, yeah. Really nice chocolate vanilla flavor. Mm. So if you guys had a chance to try the uh, Northern Monk and Lairbeck Dark City 2018 Devil's Delight Imperial Stout. Let us know what you thought of it. Thanks a ton for sharing, Brett. This was no also super cheap, right? Yeah, like it's... 50 crowns. Yeah, 50 crowns. 9% Imperial Like a, and in a big can. Yeah, it's a damn good price. Yeah. So if you guys, guys had a chance to try it, let us know. And as always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And we're going to say cheers. Cheers. And see you guys. Another beer review.